Page 192, Dao Ji Fighting is a game of timing, tactics, and bluff. Two of the most effective means to this are the simple attack from immobility. This will often surprise the opponent, especially after a series of false attacks and feints have been executed. The defender is subconsciously expecting a preparation or more complex movement and fails to react in time to the swift and unannounced simple movement. Variation of rhythm or cadence made prior to or during an attack. This may achieve the same element of surprise. For example, a series of judiciously slowed down feints and slow gaining and breaking ground may be used to put the opponent to sleep. A final movement that suddenly erupts at highest speed will often take him unawares. Again, some rapid feints followed by deliberately slowed down or broken time final movement will often disconcert a vigilant opponent. Excuse me, uh, I'll repeat that part for me please. The variation of rhythm or cadence made prior to or during an attack. This may achieve the same element of surprise. For example, a series of judiciously slowed down feints and slow gaining and breaking ground may be used to put the opponent to sleep. A final movement that suddenly erupts at highest speed will often take him unawares. Again, some rapid feints followed by a deliberately slowed down or broken time final movement will often disconcert a vigilant opponent. So you're trying to say that slow faint or slow fake will keep them off guard too? As long as you do a fast fake at the end will knock them out? Yes, yeah, slow, slow down your movements and then all of a sudden just go like super fast with your attack. Oh, that's what he's trying to say. Okay. Like breaking the rhythm. Right, because I thought he was saying do a slow fake. I'm like, damn, slow fake won't work. Because if it's slow, you know, but I get it what he's saying. Don't be slow fake, then you go Foo -foo. Yeah. fast. Gotcha. Some fighters form the habit of withdrawing the hand or foot when a hit is directed towards it. Such fighters are vulnerable to immediate renewal of the attack by a quick lunge. Sometimes a number of feints in the high line can pave the way for a sudden disengagement to the knee. Preparation on the knee and trapping the hand or foot while obstructing the opponent's leg are much used to reduce the movement time factor. Conversely, attacks on preparation are particularly effective. <coughs> Time attack, making a pause before delivering the final movement, can be very effective in deceiving the opponent as to the attacker's intention. <laughs> I can't really think about what you guys keep talking about, Davin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we kick like you yeah. know it's coming. <laughs> he sets us up for it. One way to fight the opponent's reaction is to launch a simple attack just out of distance. So he will still have to parry. Wait for his repulse, deflect it, and carefully select the target area for the counter parry. That thing that gets me to think about that too, where he would throw, <laughs> he would throw a fake like going low, bang, as you pointed out, going low, like all right, it's a low kick. You'll parry for it, and then throw the high kick when you're off guard. <laughs> Get you anyway. <laughs> Watch your opponent, never look away from him during the actual fighting. To box successfully, you must see everything that goes on in the course of your fight. The place to watch in long-range fighting is your opponent's eyes. Notice where animals look when they fight. When in fight, look neither at your opponent's feet or at his waist. Look either at your opponent's feet or at his waist. It says, does, don't look at the said, when in fighting. Oh, okay. Look either at your opponent's feet or at his waist. Okay, so look, when in fighting, at their feet, at their waist, at a distance, look at their eyes. Take the play away from your opponent and try to get him on the defensive. Keep him guessing what you are going to do next. Don't give him any rest if you can help it. Hit from all angles. When jabbing with your right, make it a double shot. 
Discover your opponent's weakness. Find out what bothers him the most. Concentrate your attack on that flaw in his defense and never ease up. Make him fight the type of contest he fights the worst. Keep moving, thereby preventing him from getting set to punch and making him miss. Circle and sidestep his rushes. When he gets off balance, be all over him. Follow up advantages. This again. Mantén el movimiento y cuando no te estés parando cada rato. Y cuando ves que él está eh, no está en balanceado, hay una vez que ataca. Don't waste any motion. Have a purpose in every action of deception, defense, or attack. Don't telegraph any punches. Attack with confidence, attack with accuracy, attack with great speed. I like that. Dice que no desperdice el movimiento. Ataca cuando debe que atacar. Y no desperdice tus movimientos cuando debe que atacar. No te dejo rápido, te dejo que te decí. No desperdice el movimiento porque no te sentí la cosa de la patada. Con la izquierda, con la derecha, no desperdice el movimiento. In retrospect, all aggressive arm actions, no matter how simple or complex, stem from one or more of three fundamentals. The beat or preparation on the lead hand or foot of the opponent. The disengagement, the simple thrust. Any elementary offensive or defense through proper strategy and ring generalship may, under the right conditions, be used in the most advanced type of fighting. Training aids. During lessons, the master will have made a point of explaining convincingly the tactical application of each stroke, whether of attack, defense, or counterattack. In each case, he will have stressed how it is done, why it is done, when it is done. Cada técnica tiene su propósito para cuándo lo vas a hacer y por qué lo vas a hacer. Tienes que esperar un momento adecuado para aplicarlo. If the lessons have included the variety of circumstances in which a stroke may have to be used, then again the pupil is less likely to be surprised by unfamiliar action. Vary your partner and you will not be fixed at a specific tactic or cadence. Once more, remember, a successful fighter is one who has learned to select correctly the strokes he has been taught. Okay.
Uh, todas las técnicas que te enseña el maestro no va a trabajar con todos. Tienes que ser bien selectivo a qué técnica usar debido a la tu oponente. ¿Entiendes? One of the most important lessons is to master combinations, hands, feet, or both, etc. Then you must study the style of your opponent before deciding what combinations might beat him. Otra cosa, la, la mejor técnica es la combinación de pies y manos. Y cuando vas a pelear con tu complicante, estudia sus movimientos primero antes de aplicar la técnica que te quieras usar con él. Five ways of attack. Editors note the five ways of attack were the last delineations Bruce was using to explain his movements just prior to his death. The incompleteness of his notes is most apparent here when compared to the extensive explanations he gave his personal students. Hay cinco formas de ataque que no tan tan completa que le dejo para sus estudiantes. Simple angle attack. Check the eight basic blocking positions. Leading with the right, guarding with the left, while moving to the right. Leading right, stop kick, girl knee shin. Cinco formas de ataque. El primero es directo. Uh, algo simple. Nada de otro mundo. Directo puede ser un puñete o una patada. Broken timing angle attack. Hand immobilizing attack. Close down boundaries while closing distance. Watch out for stop, hit, or kick. Ready to angle straight when opponent opens or backs up. Use feint before immobilizing. Otra attack is attack immobilizing the hands or grabbing the hands of your opponent. Progressive indirect attack. Moving out of line whenever possible. Boundaries close accordingly. Progressive indirect attack. Es otro ataque. Es ataque es como hace bastante a falso movimiento. Y los agarras a yo desprendiendo. High to low. Right straight to low. Right thrust. Right straight to right. Grown. Toe kick. Right straight to low, straight or kick. Es como si estuvieras haciendo una patada. Vas a hacer que crea que tú le vas a pegar abajo. En realidad le vas a pegar arriba. Left straight to right, grown toe kick. ¿Entiendes? Low to high. Right straight to high, right straight or hook. Right groan, groan kick to high, right straight. Right groan kick to high, hook kick. Left straight to right, high straight. Left right or right left. Right straight to right hook. Left thrust to right straight. Snap back and left cross opponent's right. Opponent cross hand block, left cross. Attack by combination. Tight boundaries, broken rhythm, surprise opponent, speed. The one two, the one two hook, right body, right jaw, left jaw. Right jaw, hook jaw, left jaw. The straight, high, low. Straight, high, low. Yeah, high low. Yeah, high jab. Okay, so it's two. Because those are attack by combination. Attack by drawing. Awareness balance to attack. By exposing. By forcing. By fainting. Attack is para atracción. Tú le das más la mano. Que piensa que tú estás abierto con el lente. Tú le metes una pata. Hearing that part, I always want to speak on it. Attack by fainting or drawing up, makes me 
you think of chess, like, you know, you put a piece out there for somebody to take it and you take that piece. <laughs> like, you took my um, bishop, but I took your queen. <laughs> yeah. We just were fighting, you know? Yeah. Simple angle attack. The simple angle attack is any simple attack thrown at an unexpected angle, sometimes preceded by fainting. It is often set up by readjusting the distance with footwork. Study the elusive lead and simple attack. Immobilization attack. The immobilization attack is performed by applying an immobilizing preparation trapping on the opponent's head, hair, hand, or leg as you crash the line of engagement. The trapping keeps the opponent from moving that part of his body, offering you a safety zone from which to strike. Immobilization attacks can be prepared, set up by using any of the other four ways of attack and traps can be performed in combination or singularly. Study the stop hit as well. Immobilization may be used as a preventive measure when attacking with one hand by pinning with the other. It may also be used as a preventive measure when slipping or countering. Using immobilization when an opponent actually intends to deliver a blow requires a knowledge of when the opponent is going to lead and depends on speed and skill for execution. Attack by immobilization. Punto de todo con puntas de los atacar. Mira sabes cuando atacar y pararlo a él. Apenas que no empieza su ataque, tú ya estás encima de él. Get body feel on the forearm to use it as a destructive weapon. Use a loose clawing snap or club along with elbowing. Progressive indirect attack. The progressive indirect attack is preceded by a feint or an uncommitted thrust designed to misdirect the opponent's actions or reactions in order to hit the opening line or gain a period of movement time. The progressive indirect attack is performed in a single forward motion without a withdrawal, as opposed to the single angulated attack preceded by a feint, which is actually two movements, study feints and disengagements. The pr principal use of the progressive indirect attack is to overcome an opponent whose defense is strong and fast enough to deal with a simple direct attack. It is also used to offer variation in one's pattern of attack. <laughs> Defense. Progressive indirect attack. Says Progressive indirect attack. Okay. Remember, though progressive indirect attack uses feints and disengagements, each progressive indirect attack is executed in a single forward motion. It is progressive to gain distance, to shorten the distance. The measure has to be closed but a good half with your first feint. Prolong your feint enough to allow your opponent time to react. Leave to your second movement only the second half of the distance. Do not wait for the block before completing your attack. Keep ahead of it. It is while your opponent's arm is traveling across, downward, upward, etc., that you must start your offensive action. 
That means for a moment his defense is moving in an opposite direction to your attack. Your attack therefore is made with a disengagement. Except in rare cases all movements should be made as small as possible. That is with the least deviation of the hand necessary to induce the opponent to react. Disengagements likewise should pass very close to the opponent's hand. To make progressive indirect attack with your leg more effective, try the one and a half B. The first attack is deep, sudden, economical, well covered, and well above all well balanced. Distinguish between one initiation for power like the reverse hook and a straight initiation and, and a half. The second half must be a kick that is fast and powerful and that does not deviate too much from the on guard position as infighting may be initiated. To reach the target, the attack attacker must deceive the adversary's forward moving balance, his rooted balance, his guards and parries, and must catch him in a moment of physical or mental unpreparedness. During combinations with fainting in the initial progression, loosely change to second intention. Pay particular attention to efficient to the efficient gap bridging of two moves to get speed and power. Attack by combination. Attack by combination is a series of thrusts that follow each other naturally and are generally thrown to more than one line. Study compound attack and combination fighting or combination punching. Attacks by combination are generally composed of setups. The term setups denotes a series of blows and or kicks delivered in a natural sequence. The object is to maneuver the opponent in such a position or create such an opening that the final blow of the series will find a vulnerable spot. Combination set the opponent up for a finishing knockout blow or kick. Attack by combination. Simply the human attack is that it has to be done. It's necessary to do what is necessary. Some different some samples of those five ways of that. You want to right now? We can. Simple angle attack, hand immobilizing attack. Progressive indirect attack, attack by combination, attack by drawing. Okay, we can do that right now. Cada uno va a hacer las prácticas de los diferentes. 